Hey guys, welcome to Mad Backyard. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to light up a solo stove fire pit. We've got the 27 inch solo stove Yukon here today, but these techniques will work for whatever model you have, whether it's the Yukon, the Bonfire, or the Ranger, or even the new 2.0 models coming out here uh, pretty soon. Uh, follow along with us and we'll show you how to get it lit. Now when you set up your solo stove, you wanna make sure you're in a nice open area with no overhanging tree branches or anything else that can possibly catch on fire. Stay away from uh, being under gazebos or decks or other things like that. Solar stove is designed to actually send the smoke straight up in the air away from you and your guests. So if you set it up under an overhang, you're kind of defeating the whole purpose. Next, think about what kind of surface you're setting your solo stove up on. You can see we're on concrete here today, um, but whether you're on concrete or a deck or even your grass that you don't want to kill, you want to make sure you have a good uh, solid support system underneath the solo stove. You can see I've got this 40 inch round mat from Fireproof Pros. This does a couple different things. Number one, it obviously helps keep some heat off the concrete from coming down from the solo stove, but it's also great at catching stray embers and things that may shoot out and land uh, on the mat rather than right on your concrete. So we've got that, and then above the mat, we've actually got the solo stove stand. The nice thing about the solo stove stand is it keeps your solo stove up off whatever surface you're on. You'll notice that the bottom of the solo stove is flat, and that's a lot of surface area making direct contact with your concrete or deck. So rather than do that, make sure you've got some sort of stand. I really like the solo stove stand because it's indiscreet, it fits perfectly on the solo stove itself, and it lets air flow right underneath, helping to buffer that heat from whatever surface you're trying to protect. I'll put links to the mat, the solo stove stand, and everything else we're using today in the video description down below if you want to check them out for yourself. All right, now let's talk about what we're gonna to need to light the solo stove. You're obviously gonna need some firewood. Make sure you've got some nice dry logs, okay? While the solo stove is purported to be a smokeless fire pit, it works a lot better if you use nice dry kindling and dry firewood. Next, you're gonna need some good heat-proof gloves for moving around the lid and other things on the solo stove. A lighter. These fire starters, which are made of sawdust and paraffin, they're great at getting the solo stove started, as well as some kindling. Now you can gather your own kindling if you want, some small sticks and twigs or smaller logs. Um, you can get the actual juniper wood logs from Solo Stove themselves. I'll put a link to that below too. Or you can pick up a box of mini logs or kindling from someplace like Walmart or Costco um, to help get your fire started as well. Once you got everything you need to start your Solo Stove, make sure that your flame ring is placed on top and pointed up. You're gonna point it down when you're storing the Solo Stove, but point it up when you're starting a fire. Next, we're going to take some of our smaller logs and pieces of kindling, and we're going to start building our base. Just take a couple bigger pieces and put them on the bottom. And take some medium pieces and put them going the other way. And then take your smaller pieces, and you're going to put them right on top like that. Now we're going to take two of our fire starter cubes. We're going to place them underneath our wood. Take our lighter, go ahead and light the first one, and then light the second one. We're gonna give our kindling a good 10 to 15 minutes to make a nice hot base before we start adding any other logs on top of this. Once you've got a good base going, it's time to add some bigger logs. Notice the holes around the top of the inside rim of your solo stove. Solo stove recommends not putting the logs any higher than those holes. So make sure you don't stack up your logs too high. We're gonna start with one, making sure we're wearing our heat proof gloves. And we're gonna lay it on top, kind of in a triangle. And then take the second one and put it going the other way. All right, now you can see the other two logs we've added have really kind of taken to the fire. We're gonna add one more, kind of lay it down the same way we did the other two. And then we're gonna take our solo stove screen and put this on top. Now, if you don't have the solo stove screen, I highly recommend it because it does a really good job of keeping embers 
little strays from flying out of your fire while still letting you enjoy your solo stove. It's got this removable top so you can add more wood or do what you need to do to poke and prod the fire uh, without having to take the whole thing off. Um, it's nice because it fits right on top of the flame ring so it still sends your smoke straight up in the air away from you and your guests allowing the solo stove to do its thing but it really is nice for if you've got kids or pets um, you can hear some of the embers hitting it right now as soon as you put it on you'll notice that if you've got kids or pets or other things it kind of helps uh, keep keep those from uh, flying out towards you and your guests as well All right guys, now that we've got the fire lit, it's time to enjoy your solo stove. Don't add too many logs at one time. Again, you wanna to try to keep the logs below the level of those holes around the inner perimeter. That's what's gonna help the solo stove work the best to keep the smoke away from you and your guests and pointed straight up. When it is time to add more logs, we're gonna use the uh, solo stove shield holders that come with it to remove just the top piece. Once the top of the solo stove shield's removed, you can add more logs one at a time as needed. Thanks for following along in this video on how to light a solo stove fire pit. Make sure to check out the accompanying article. I'll put a link in the description below the video. It has step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this at madbackyard.com. We've also got a whole bunch of other resources at Mad Backyard related to solo stoves. If you have other questions on how to put them out, how to clean them, etc., And make sure to check out the accompanying video we're going to put up soon about uh, how to put out a fire in your solo stove uh, at the end of the night. There's definitely some do's and don'ts you need to consider when it's time to put out your solo stove. Make sure to hit like and subscribe if you want to get more content like this. And thanks for watching.